in time to 2017 when Caitlin and Ash met in London while working at Shoreditch Station as paramedics. Ash has since told me that she had her eye on Caitlin after first seeing her at handover one day. At that point, Ash commenced what she dubbed Operation Shawshank. For those unfamiliar with this strategy, Ash decided the best chance of landing poor and unsuspecting Caitlin was by chipping away at her in small and seemingly insignificant interactions. moments of Operation Shawshank was when Ash flexed her practical skills by returning to the station to repair her punctured tyre at a time when Caitlin was starting her shift. <laughs> Caitlin, oblivious to Ash's tactics, was so impressed by the skills with, with her skills with the repair kit, her strength and practicality, that she couldn't resist texting Ash later to check if she had gotten home okay. It seemed Operation Shawshank was a big success. From there, it didn't take long for them to realise they both had met someone really special. To my beautiful wife, today has been better than I could ever have imagined. I love you very much. Caitlin, we love your enthusiasm for life, your positive attitude, your energy. Um, in fact, the whole Fitzgibbon clan are like a bunch of everybody bunnies running around. Like, I don't know what, what drugs you're taking, guys, but can we have some as well? But most of all, we're happy that Ashley has found her soulmate in you. And we can't wait to see what the future holds for you both and us. Baby, I'm so happy, Diane and I, about having us in our lives. We, we are happy. And Ash, looking at you now, you've made Caitlin an even happier person than she has generally been uh, throughout her life, and she was always a happy person. But you've made it even more special, and we are so delighted. So, we're here to celebrate commitment, friendship, but more importantly, love. <laughs> you look beautiful. Ash. You look amazing. Today, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for coming into my life five years ago and for bringing a sense of calm and stability but also endless happiness and adventure. I can genuinely say that I've been grateful for you every day since I met you. There are two things you have really cemented for me. Being present in every moment and the importance of family over anything else. You've also supported me in whatever it is that I set my mind to. I love you. We make a great team, and I'm extremely lucky to be marrying you today. I can't wait for every day yet to come, and whatever life brings you and us, I'll be by your side always. I'm um, looking at these tables, and it's quite overwhelming just to see all of our favourite people here tonight and when we walked uh, into the ceremony which was very much a blur um, to see all of your faces was I can't even describe it so thank you so much to each and every one of you for being here tonight. Caitlin, when we met I didn't realise the connection I'd been long yearning for. From our first date you filled me with hope, passion and most of all excitement. I couldn't wait to start my life with you. I love your intelligence, your drive, 
your spirit and the way, way you light up every room you walk into. I love the way you challenge me. You always push me to aim higher and support me in a way I've never experienced. Every day you make me a better person. You are the light of my life. I love you. All of the love and the support of your family and friends. It is my absolute, true and sincere honour to pronounce that you are now officially married. Would you like to kiss your wife? The Fins and the Fitzgibbons, uh, we only met this year. We thought, what a wonderful family. Uh, every one of them are, are such high achievers, apart from Joel, of course. Um, you know, we met, he's a bit upset, he lost his government job and wasn't sure what he was going to do, the poor old fella. But Thanks for all the help around the farm this week, Joel. I've never seen a politician work so hard. We, we've started a new award here at Oakhurst Station, Farm Hand of the Month. So we have an Oakhurst Station shirt you'll be getting once you clean up tomorrow, mate. I've been a bit disappointed by the speeches so far. <laughs> Particularly Paul's, on a number of fronts. I was thinking today that I developed a bit of a man crush uh, on Paul, and I could see a bromance emerging. But I've been very disappointed on a number of fronts. Paul, for example, I thought might have acknowledged my expertise on the tractor this week. No mention of it whatsoever. No reciprocation, no suggestion or admission that he too had a man crush on me. So Paul, you can't and shouldn't try to hide it. It's perfectly Norman, normal to fall in love with Joel Fitzgibbon as Diane did a long, long time ago. Enjoy the dance floor, let's go. Let's dance!